dear students today we are going to have a detailed discussion on plastic injection molding process and this process is again a manufacturing technique used for both thermoplastic as well as thermoset materials and also in contrast to the extrusion process that we have already studied this process of injection molding is used for making complex shaped discrete parts and we are having the molten plastic injected at high pressures so the process is named as injection molding because this process uses high pressure this high pressure material is injected into a mold so that is why this process is known as injection molding and here normally what is the material used for making the mold is normally we are using the hardened steel material so hard steel material is used for making the mold and uh, this process is widely accepted because this can be used for making variety of parts and we can have wide variety of parts from very small components to body panels of automobiles. So that means we can have variety not only in the shape but also in the size of the product. So that is why we said this is going to be a very important process in plastic molding technique. So this uh, this particular figure shows uh, the schematic representation of an injection molding machine. So this machine, as we all know, the injection molding machine consists of this machine consists of an injection unit. So this is the injection unit on the uh, extreme one side. In the in the center, we are having a mold. And at the extreme right, we can have the clamping unit. So that means an uh, injection molding machine necessarily have these parts. That is an injection unit, a mold unit, and a clamping unit. And for a precise knowledge, we can say that this mold is not going to be a part of the machine. The mold is something which can be fixed and can be removed. So once we fix it for one, one particular product, we will get that product and with the same material from the same machine we can have another mold that means when we say specifically machine schematic as the machine specification we can say the machine consists of an injection unit and a clamping unit but inevitably mold will come there when we are going for the product manufacture so coming back to these two sections in the injection section we are having the feed hopper that is the basic unit from which we add the plastic granules so here we can see in the, in the yellow color we can see the plastic granules inside the injection molding machine so this plastic granule that is contained in the injection molding machine needs to be plasticized so the process of plasticization of course requires pressure as well as that temperature so this is again going to be material specific whatever we are going to which material we are going to add in this machine depending on that we need to set the temperature so for that the material to be plasticized we will have a part that is known as the barrel so a barrel is there and for that barrel around the barrel we will have heating bands so this heating bands and barrel is given for transferring the temperature Whereas the heart of the injection molding plasticization zone is the screw. So we are having a screw. This screw is actually something which can have rotation motion as well as reciprocating motion. So this screw will have rotation. This is able to rotate. At the same time, this is going to have forward and backward movement. And with this forward and backward movement along with the rotation, the, the material is actually being plasticized. So here actually we are having granular plastic material, thermoplastic material as we have already mentioned is added to the machine and the material is allowed to be plasticized and the plasticized material is allowed to move forward and get collected in front of the, in front of the screw and once the material is being collected in front of the screw, it is now ready for injection. So that is how the injection unit is being placed. And uh, when we come just after that, just after the injection unit, so we can say precisely, we can say that the basic parts again is the screw, the 
hopper barrel and the heating bands this all it is uh, jointly known as the parts associated with the injection unit whereas when we come to the other side we can see there is a stationary platen and a moving platen so here as the name implies we are having a stationary platen and a moving platen so here this platen in the injection molding machine there is a part of the machine again is fixed that is why it is known as stationary platen and there is a moving platen and this platen is having as the arrow shows it is having the functioning of moving forward and backward and why it is it is for facilitating the removal of the part from the mold that is the main thing we need to remove the part from the mold for that we need to open up the mold and for that this moving platen will have forward as well as backward movement so when the mold needs to be closed when the mold is in the closed condition this moving platen is coming closer to the stationary platen and once the molding is been completed the mold will get opened up and by the movement of the moving plate so that is the part associated with the machine we are having the the moving platen so a stationary platen and the moving platen and we are having certain uh, yellow uh, sorry uh, blue colored uh, uh, part is been shown and this particular part is known as the tie rod so we are having tie rods associated with the machine and just after that we can see the clamping unit so what is going to be the function of the clamping unit is is to be made precisely known to all of the students because this is one of the main function of the injection molding machine to be carried out we require clamping unit to keep the mold in the closed condition so that is why it is clamping or closing so this is going to be the part that gives enough pressure the pressure is exerted at the rear side of the mold to keep it at the closed condition so here this arrows indicates that this exerts pressure at the back side of the mold to keep the stationary platen in the closed condition when the injection is being done so that is the specific uh, parts of schematic representation of an injection molding machine so when we come to uh, an actual uh, representation so when we come to the actual figure of an injection molding machine it will look like this so here we can see we are having an angel machine this is a german made machine so the all the other parts are being concealed we cannot see what is there so normally we will have an electrical concealed region as well as a hydraulic region in a normal angel machines so in this machine we are having an injection unit a mold unit and a clamping unit as i said in actual representation this is the feed hopper as we have already mentioned and we are having the mold here this is a glass window to show that how the process is been progressing we can uh, see that and uh, this is a sophisticated machine here in this machine we are having uh, certain controls over here so this machine this part is actually uh, set to how this machine actually is set to how so this machine is actually set to how this glass window to see how the process is been going on so that is the intention of having this uh, particular part that is why we are having a glass door here and the clamping region the pressurizing region etc is been kept here and uh, the significance of this picture is that so when we come to this picture uh, we, we normally we will discuss about this we are having a variety 160 machine that means sorry victory 160 machine that's 160 is very important what is that actually the machine is rated based on its clamping force or the clamping tonnage so 160 means 160 tons of pressure can be exerted by the clamping region to keep the mold at the closed condition so that means high pressure it can withstand based on this clamping force actually we will classify injection molding machines so this is another representation is already we have mentioned but uh, this is another uh, fi figurative representation that is being given to know how the process is been going on so here again we an award i have already mentioned is regarding the tie bar so here we can see the tie bar the function of the tie bar is to control the movement of the mold and we are having stationary platen and mold cavity we are having mold core the mold platen etc the uh, what we have already mentioned so here what you can see is uh, actually the material is been uh, is shown in the red color and the material is allowed to move 
to the mold and inside the mold actually it is being formed into the part so uh, so this is a cross sectional view so inside the mold when the mold is in the closed condition and the material is being injected in the red color actually the product is being formed so the product is being formed inside the mold and here in the blue color you can see in this blue color you can see there is a certain um, uh, dots are being shown then dots indicates the the cooling system that is being used in the injection molding uh, process that is we need to cool the plastic that is being injected so as the basic principle we know thermoplastic materials are commonly used for this uh, process of injection molding and thermoplastics as we as we all know the material will get plasticized when is it is heated and uh, once it is being heated to its uh, melting temperature it can flow and uh, just after the flow uh, flow temperature is reached we can inject the material with the high pressure that is used by the screw but we require solidified material that is to be we require solidified plastic product and for that getting that solidified plastic product this melt needs to be converted again to solid material and for that uh, quick uh, transfer uh, transformation of the plasticized material to solid plastic material we require cooling and for that effective cooling, we will have cooling given at the cavity side as well as on the core side. We will have detailed discussion about the mold later.